guys and welcome back to my channel and also welcome if you're new and most importantly actually welcome to Greece. Ciao, siamo al mare. Che pesciolino! On today's video I'm going to show you what is the situation in Greece right now, is there tourism, have prices increased and also show you how is the everyday life. At the moment I'm in Haukidiki, Greece and I will take you on a tour around with me. In this video I will answer to all of your questions about the arrival, Covid test, the form that you have to fill in, accommodation, transport and most importantly the beach. What are the prices, what are not. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video which will be all about food. We'll compare street food, restaurants, the different types of places, locations. Most importantly compare prices because I asked you guys on Instagram and you seem to be very very curious about this topic. First things first, the arrival. And I actually came here by car from Bulgaria and 48 hours before coming I had to fill in a form which asks you for very basic information which usually you can just find in your passport and after that they test on a random basis 3000 people and luckily I was not one of them so we didn't have uh, any issues. Actually if you test positive after that you have to either go back to your home country or stay in a quarantine hotel for two weeks which let's be honest here doesn't really sound like lots of fun and I'm sure this was not your plan for your holiday in Greece so I was very worried about this part but it went Oh well. And now we also have Ben that will join us and tell us how was his experience coming here by flight from London. My uh, flight experience, my traveling experience was a bit different than usual. I flew from London Luton to Thessaloniki on the 16th of July and I never experienced like traveling in like doing like the pandemic. It was my first time and uh, it was really really interesting because like there were all the like measures and procedures that to go through. First one was filling in a test, an online questionnaire, and then I received a QR code to show to the at security at the airport. And as soon as I landed during the flight, we were all like separated. You know, there was like, uh, you know, the easy jet. There are usually three seats. Uh, the seat in the middle was empty, and like the other two, you know, there was like a random person, and I was on the other one. As soon as I landed, uh, I got tested for coronavirus, so I I got picked randomly because like I was like next to a nurse, you know, like she was trying to explain in a very broken English, you know, like the, the whole procedure. You know, she was like, "Oh, I'm gonna put this in your mouth. You have to say ah," and I was really scared, so I was like. Uh, she, she told me, oh, uh, we're gonna let you know if you're positive, you know, in 24 hours. And of course the result, you know, the result of the test was negative. Yay! I booked a driver on the link that you can see here. Basically came to pick me up. Uh, it was really weird because like as soon as I got off the airport, he shook my hand. You know, like they told me, oh, just quarantine, you know, avoid contact. And the driver just grabbed my hand. The only thing I would like to point out is that there's no Uber in Alkidiki, unfortunately. I wish there was Uber. Uh, so drivers are a bit more expensive, I would say. But I think my suggestion is if you know how to drive, and like me, you should rent a car. Accommodation. Well, I'm not actually saying this from my personal experience, but from what all my friends have told me, prices here have increased by at least 20%. And it doesn't really seem fair considering the whole situation and what everyone is going through, but we also have to think about the tourism industry that it's really losing a lot of money, so I guess this is why they have also increased prices. So I really recommend you checking before you come. How is tourism? And for a start, I can tell you that there aren't as many people as usual. Let me show you. Today is the 19th of July and usually at this time of the year it's literally full of tourists. You can like barely find an umbrella or a seat where to, to go. But this year seems like Covid is really hitting us hard but it's kind of normal because I know that flights to Greece have opened from 15th of July so it kind of makes sense that there aren't so many tourists but still I will show you attractions. 
Well, to be honest with you, the biggest attraction here is actually the beach. And as you can see, I'm already tanned. I haven't been so tanned my whole life. Hope you can see, guys, but the water here, it's like literally crystal clear. Let me show you. If you have been to Greece already, you know that you can order whatever you want and after that you can stay under the umbrella pretty much all day and you don't pay any extra costs. But since that this is most more popular beach and it's actually more expensive than the others, even before here you had to pay for the umbrella. I wanted to show you the receipt. Basically, it says that we have paid for one of those things to sit, it's four euros each and then you pay additionally the coffee. At the beach, which is close to my house, I can take coffee and stay there all day long. The beach is pretty much the same and you just pay like four euros for the coffee and you can stay like first line. So this is really more expensive, but, and I'm not sure how much is it actually worth it. Guys, if you know me, you know that the most important thing for me in the morning is having coffee. And I just want to have a little bit of time to talk about it. Well, the coffee culture here is very interesting. Basically, you sit in the bar and you can stay here like literally for two or three hours, which I like because it's so chillax. This is my normal espresso, pretty good. and. At least one positive thing is that it always comes with the water, even though it's plastic, but I mean, they don't really ask you, it's not like, like I can get a glass, which to be honest, I would totally go for. Prices can also vary starting from 1, 1 euro 50 up to 4 or 5 if you're having it at the beach or at just a more fancy location. The most typical coffee here is called frappe and this might surprise our Italian viewers but this is actually like a cold iced coffee and it doesn't contain any ice cream and actually you can't choose the flavor. and tell you guys what is actually the real situation here because coming from London where restrictions are very strict and there is always two meter distance and a lot of people wear masks and are just very thoughtful about their personal space yes uh, I mean here it's not really like that it kind of feels like uh, the coronavirus here has ended and there aren't really any restrictions and you rarely see anyone wearing a mask, maybe apart from people working in the restaurants or maybe in the bigger supermarkets, there you can see actually people being more concerned. But apart from that, in everyday life, it's just very relaxed, but it kind of makes sense because also cases here are dropping every day. And also, let's ask Ben, what does he think about this? He has also been here for almost a week. Uh, here I feel very safe, you know, everything is really chillaxed, you know, it's, uh, to be honest, it does look like there's a pandemic here in Greece, you know, compared to London. London, I was really scared. I hope you find this video useful and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video, which will be all about food. And if you have any specific questions make sure to ask it in the comments down below and guys let me know are you coming to greece this summer are you actually going somewhere bye guys love you loads really recommend you guys to come here and stop going to all super touristy places come to haukideki okay uh, un'altra nuotata per piacere amore <laughs>